Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalaran. I do hope you guys enjoyed this mega sword of the last 5-5 one in one duels that we've had on the pre-patch. This is just a combination of a bunch of, of these games that simply didn't make it into a separate video. So I combined them together in this kind of like a montage best of clips type of deal. I don't really know what I'm doing with this really. I just want to try it. Thank you guys all so much for the support for the 5 5 one in one duels. I think we'll let him take a break for one week. So let everybody, you know, level and get to uh, get some gear and we'll start them back up next week. Then guys, I'll see all of you in the next one. Alright, ready? Ready to chat? Switch, switch. Hey, okay, okay, well, that's a that's a mess. That's a mess. We're not gonna do What is that? What is that number? You guys can even see it. You see Papa Po? Alrighty boys, we got him on purple. Why are the purple, by the way? I don't understand. I like purple though. I do like purple as a color. What do we got? We got Cry going up first versus Pelter. Oh, Pelter, my boy. Poor Pelter. Poor Pelter. I can kind of target him. Kind of see how I target him. Weird. We got a sap onto Pelter. He's going to have to deal with Cry, who's playing what looks like Assassination Rogue. Yes, he is. He got a full open with Cheap Shot and everything. That's going to be to a kidney onto a bar skin. Was that Vendetta? That was no cooldowns. And Pelcher is fighting himself at half health. How much to force himself out of it. Didn't trick it anything, but did pop bar skin on a non Vendetta opener. Does find Cry with an AoE out of the bear form. Needs to heal up. ASAP getting a bash into Cry. Trying to get some damage out. Going into incarnation form and try to get as many instant casts as possible. Cry is going down to about half health. Getting a short stun and trick it out of Cry. Into a kidney onto Pelcher. And Pelcher is not tricking out of it. Oh no! Pelcher just melted down to an assassination rogue. They did the nerf him recently. I was pretty sure they nerfed him. Shifting out over to the eyes. We have Skeet picking up the eye. But getting sapped up by Cry. That guy is going for an open with a Garot into a cheap shot. And Skeet popping invasion of the bat. But not going to be able to maximize the use of it. Trinket in a little bit late. And that's going to be a big defensive zone of Cry with evasion. And Skeet is trying to get the damage. But Skeet is just melting right now. That wasn't even a vendetta. That was just Cry's base damage. Woo! Goddamn, and that Skeet having to go for a Cloak of Shadows. Trying to see if he can get a sick sap onto Cry. Maybe a restyle sap onto Cry. But Cry is just catching up to him. Blind coming out early. No chicken available for Skeet at this moment. So Cry looks like he's going to be able to get a full opener on him. But Cry is trying to learn out low on cooldowns. And Ryan, my man! Rogue Nerf Storm Banners, they aren't live yet, Rip. Yeah, it looks like uh, they're... They're necessary. Hey, we got a hashtag right computer chat showing our appreciation for the wonderful nation. Thank you so much, my man. I appreciate you. Skeet getting hit with a full kidney while doted up with dots and cry. Just takes him out one after the other. It looks like it's going to be Papa Po as a monk is going up for full damage onto cry. It's going to be a short stun onto cry. No evasion available. Shadow stepping away from Papa Po and Papa Po is trying to catch up with all his images. It looks like cry is actually pretty low on health. Trigger coming out of Papa Po wants to end him right there right now. Waco is available. And he's waiting for the next challenger to approach. Who is it going to be? Alcazar, Lit Shaman, Ari, or Raw Shifty? Papa Bosil has Wall available, Karma, even has a Dampen Harm. But all his offensive cooldowns are down for the moment. So he still has at least a defensive fight. It's going to be Ari opening up with a set of buffs. Trying to get a decent setup. While coming out of Papa Paul, I see he's dropping down to 75% health. Trying to retaliate against Ari as he's going for a drone rush. That's going to be stunned onto Papa Paul. Karma coming out as he's getting his cooldowns available. And Ari is just going to kill and spray into that Karma. Probably the worst idea possible. Went for a gouge into Papa Paul, but that Karma is going to start ticking. You might want to cloak and vanish out of there. Papa Paul popping damp and harm. That's going to be a parry out of Ari, though. I don't think he can be countered. Going for a plunder armor on top of that. Get a hit with an ink cap, and Papa Paul needs to go for defenses. Needs to wait it out, and Ari could go for a full reset. Papo still hanging out, trying to catch himself a reheal, but Ari is not gonna let him. It looks like he might be able to get him into a full stun, and it looks like a full stun and dead. Outlaw damage, boys! It looks like it's gonna be Banana up next. Banana getting an open onto Ari, going for a full bleed setup, trying to get all the damage over time on him. Bash coming out right afterwards into a blind into Banana. Patron of War, but Ari is taking a lot of bleed damage right now. It looks like it's going to be breaking him out, out of that blind. Not a stun to follow. That's going to be a big clock of shadows for Ari. Still hanging in there with the outlaw healing. Into another stun onto Banana and Grapple Hook away. Does Ari still have dots on him? Looks like he is melting to dots little by little. Yep, it looks like he's still taking the dot damage. And Banana is just going to go for big damage while Killing Spree is going to come out out of Ari. Barrel form as Alcazar is making his way to Banana. He needs to make sure he can get hodged up. And that's going to be a full hodge. Trick it out of Banana. Sword's coming out instantly. So has plenty of defenses available. Going for a counter pressure onto Alcazar. Bash coming in onto Alcazar right afterwards. And Alcazar is still hanging in there. Banana popping big cooldowns on him. 
Wall burnt. I think you should have a second wall available. Big kill coming out of Banana as Alakazar popping. Shield of Vengeance. Hey, Banana wants to get away from that ASAP. Gets a nice rooter to Alakazar. And looks like a Shield of Vengeance is going to proc away from Banana. But Alakazar is trying to... Oh, no! He got close enough to Banana. And that shield exploded right in his face. That was a little bit rough. And Alakazar going for Flash of Lights. We have Zugbomb popping out. Trying to interrupt it. Hodge coming in onto Honorable Zugbomb. But getting counter stun on him. So that's really well done. Alakazar still hanging in there. Zugbomb is really on his heels slamming him with damage there's gonna be a big debuff into Zugbum just now so Alakazar does he have a setup he could counter strike totem available for Zugbum though big defensive for Alakazar Hodge coming in and Zugbum might just melt right here to that shield of vengeance no pop a counter strike totem was not the best idea in the world Alakazar is also retreating himself going for flash of light Zugbum is also going for himself can we get a hashtag Rotor in chat Showing our appreciation for his wonderful sponsor. Thank you so much, my man. I appreciate you, my guy. Zugbum trying to hang in there, but barely. Barely. As you can see, the Paladin damage is nuts. It's absolutely nuts. Also, the healing for Paladins. Alrighty, we are here. Who's up first? It looks like it's going to be a Boomy Pelter versus what we got going on is... How do you say name? Zizi? 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 I'm thinking it's like Chinese? X H I G G G G versus good old Pelcher. Pelcher trying to come out from the side, trying to get a root in there, and G G doesn't let him in. His enhancement shaman trying to get the damage in, getting the setup, building the maelstrom, getting disarmed off the bat, which allows Pelcher to get some setup going. But G G going behind the pillar, no, decides to turn around, decides to stay in on Pelcher as he got damage going on. Pelcher going for a lot of Mystic Cats, getting a short stun onto G G with a trinket coming out. No totem, no nothing coming out into a bash, and looks like Pelcher is going to take him out right then and there. No Counter Strike totem, no wall available. And Pelcher is getting mauled off the bat by what looks like Mercury. Mercury going in for a stun into a bat. Trinket no longer available for Pelcher. Has Bark Skin available. Going into Bear form or Boom Boom can form. Trying to get some damage in and it's going to bleed out. That's going to be Emma Plogs going up with Mercury. Trying to get some damage in. What's going to be Wall coming out of Mercury off the bat. Thorns coming out of both of the Pharaohs. Mercury trying to get for a regrowth. Does get himself a nice fat heal. You guys can hibernate each other, by the way. All y'all druids can hibernate each other now. No one's using that. I want to see a fucking... Can you get an Instacast hibernate? That'd be awesome. Wild Wall is available. Trying to make sure he has back damage. Back, uh, backlogged into Mercury. Mercury going in with his last wall. Trying to go for regrowth. Can Emma Block stop it? Went for a Skull Bash. Misses it. And Mercury is going for another regrowth. Is going to be able to get it off. And Emma Block is trying to go for some Tiger's Fury damage. Who's it going to be up next? M Block still doesn't have a wall available or trinket available is what I meant to say. M Block is pushing in with a wall, trying to get the damage up early. Mercury getting bashed up, trinket and out of it. Continue to do damage back to M Plox. M Plox is actually looks like he's kind of uh, on the receiving end. Mercury is melting, don't get me wrong, but it looks like M Plox is having to rotate through his cooldowns while Mercury is still not dead yet. So he's sitting comfortable, even though he has moments where it's like it could be turned around in a moment, gets a bash to Mercury and does establish the dominance, the primal dominance of a kitty cat. Wall coming out very soon and is trying to just get away, trying to heal up while Bilbo is letting the pets kind of rip into him right now. Catching a nice heal onto himself, still trying to kite away from Bilbo and the pet. I don't think it'll be effective. Running through the Dire Basilisk, which takes a huge chomp out of him. And Bilbo is able to take him out without having to pop too many defenses. Who's up next? It looks like it's going to be Trapper up next. That's going to be Cry. Let's cry on his guy, man. Let's cry. Trapper is getting some nice dot damage onto Bilbo though. Bilbo does have some big damage. Beastial Wrath available. The pet needs to do as much damage as possible. The pet is just hitting through Trapper as much as he can. Bilbo having to force to use his heal. Trapper having to force to use his heal. And Bilbo is the first one coming out with a turtle shell. Trapper is still hanging out. Still has a turtle shell available. Can use it any moment. So Bilbo that's kind of low on healing. Trying to get Trapper to walk onto... The tombstone, but Trapper takes him out with a grenade. Ancient Alpha trying to get at Trapper instantly. Trapper's hoping to go for re-stealth. No, not going to be able to. Is going to eat the trap. Stun coming out onto Trapper. He is forced to trinket it. And Trapper is in execute range. I guess getting root onto Ancient Alpha, who's trying to blade storm out of it. Trapper still wants to go for re-stealth. Not going to be able to do it with a pet. Going in for a, a little bit of manning bandages. Getting hit with a fear. That's going to be Ancient Alpha setting up his burst damage. That's going to be instant turtle shell out of Trapper. Trapper's trying to get his damage out 
out onto Ancient Alpha into a stun. No human racial available and getting some distance while he's at it. Letting the dogs do the work, letting the pet do the work. Trapper is just trying to kite away. That's going to be a nice charge and big kills on our Ancient Alpha. Ooh, but hit with a trap right afterwards. Trapper continued to heal himself at about 11% dampening. That's going to be a stun onto Trapper. Ancient Alpha needs to connect with the pet or the hunter to continue healing it. But the dampening at 40% might put him in a bad spot. And that, feet, that poison trap, that uh, poison turpicing is going to do enough damage in order to get him out. Ross Shifty is going to be going up next versus Trapper. Trapper throwing down the flare of the bat. Almost caught Ross Shifty. Almost. One of them might want to pick up the eyes for Trapper. This is perfect opportunity to make sure that he gets the opener. It looks like he is going to go picking up the eyes right now. Is he going to be able to find Ross Shifty though? He is sending the pet out at him. Trinket coming out of Ross Shifty pretty early as Trapper gets some damage in there. That's going to be another Trinket coming out by Trapper as he then sent up onto Incarnation by Ross Shifty. But then forcing Ross Shifty into a Freezing Trap right afterwards. Making sure he's fully healed up to get some bleeds up onto Trapper as he just got himself a huge heal. Ross is just melting right now. Wall coming out at the very end and that was it. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of damage from the Survival Hunter. Murky did a lot of damage. I told you guys, Murky was doing a lot of damage even if he lost Oh, there we go. We got Pancake, <laughs> Lindrone, Dead, Blackbrook, and Sanerik. Oh, we got a variety of names here. We got an Owl, the Rogue Boys. We got Cry on the other. Oh, God. We got Mercury, Cry, Bilbo Hunter, and Alakazar on the other side. Here we go. Bilbo going with a double pet. Dead is just coming out of stealth in the open. And Bilbo's getting the pets out right now. Getting the stun onto dead. Off the bed. Getting the damage. Getting the pets all set up. Dire Bass is, is entering the stage. Into stun onto Bilbo. Trink out onto Bilbo instantly. We get a freeze trap on one of the uh, one of the pets by Bilbo. And B P Bilbo's pets are just continuing to struck damage into dead. As damage continues to struck damage into Bilbo. Bilbo going in for a huge heal. Dead already went for a huge heal too. Dead is forced to use turtle shell right now. Might even be forced to use his... Uh, uh, what is it called? What is he do, trying to do? I, he didn't even use his uh, medic bandages. Bilbo's passage is doing so much damage. Dead is able to stun the pets or to root them at least, but they're still gonna do damage. Trying to get away. Those pets are doing so much work onto Dead. And Dead is actually trapped. He ran into Bilbo's trap right now, stunned up, and Bilbo does take him out. The hunter became the hunter. Bilbo catches himself into a nice resell, still getting opened on up by who is it right there? Blackbrook, frenzy of the pets. Setting up a flare ahead of time. Big bash coming out by Blackbrook. But he's still peeling back behind the pillar. Not confident that he can win this approach. The pets are still mauling at him. He's just so low in health. I think he tried to go for a torrent stomp to get the pets off him. Get these pets off me. Bear form, travel form, cat form, any form. But the only form he was going to have to subscribe to is probably, probably the dead form. I'm trying to make a joke here, but he looks like he's still catching. He's still surviving. The big dire basilisk. He's going to run by it. Get a few chomps into him. That's really bad. That thing is so hard hitting right now. That thing hits really hard, especially with no... Oh, and yeah, down he goes. With the ability to use your gear. You can have Bilbo actually stack a lot of master versatility and that pet can actually chomp. Fake egg is still hanging in there, still finding Bilbo. Instacasts keep coming out. Disarm to Bilbo as he threw down a trap. I think Pancake might be able to get some hard casts in there as Pancake's finding himself actually pretty low in health. Bilbo barely has any health either. The pet heal is what keeping him alive and that's gonna be a judgment from the paladin. Okay, so the rogue didn't do anything. He just grappled in. They all got excited. Wings available. Trying to get a cyclone in there. Not getting kicked. Not getting kicked. Did Ladron miss his kick or was Mercury just messing with him? But Mercury might actually pay for this and he yeah, does. Try to go in for a bash until Lindrome, but Bubble was available. Lindrome did get himself a bubble up and running. Cries up next with execution sentence. That would be insane. Getting a Hodge into Cry, building up the holy power. Might actually be able to do it. Is Cry gonna go for some damage? Cry's actually taking a lot of evasions available. Cry could go down right now. That shield is gonna pop. Coca Shadow is available though. Notice that the shield is gonna pop any moment now. Kidney onto Lindrone. That's it. Lindrone is out of cooldowns. As we have a row coming in. Sap coming in by Sanyuk. Cry still has a trinket available into a cheap shot. Trick is a cheap shot of the bat into a killing spirit. Cry couldn't turn around to kidney him fast enough, blind him fast enough for anything. Cry goes down. Walk him in a barrage shifty. That's going to be a huge plunder armor available for our man Sandrick. Trying to get some damage in. Rosh shifty will be able to heal himself up though. No wall available for him anymore. Ooh, he's in a bad spot and Sandrick auto attacks. Are just gonna end him. And Alakazar is up next. Sandrick has no cooldowns available. 29% dampening. Trying to catch a 3 stealth against the Paladin and get a hodged up. No way of getting out of it. What? He got out of it somehow. What? And he goes down though. Oh my goodness. 
My goodness. Bilbo did so much damage. My boy. We kill so much damage with those pets and most healing. A hunter can heal more than a paladin. A hunter can heal more than a balanced druid. Are you kidding me? Oh, no fucking way.